bitch off, they'll never go change You don't know ass nigga, that be the game Same nigga I used to be, fried niggas get used to me Dead man if you fool with me, say that for your eulogy And another one, yo, what is going on y'all? It's your boy Bell and we are back with another Mobile Legends video Before we jump into it, as always, smack that thumbs up Button. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any uploads. But we have an interesting video here. This is going to be a tier list. I saw some YouTubers doing this with rappers and YouTubers and it's random stuff like that. They were making tier lists of certain things in the communities that they're in. And I wanted to do this with some Mobile Legends heroes. So we're going to do this. I actually, this is actually my second time trying to do this video because I noticed like freaking five heroes in the video was already eight minutes last time and i'm like yo <laughs> i talk too much <laughs> i came to the realization that I, I might talk a little bit of a lot so let's just jump straight into it man i'm gonna try to give brief explanations and try to do this way faster so s rank is gonna be overpowered this is gonna be overpowered heroes it's just super op and then d tier you're gonna have to be a special type of bad to make it there so let's start off let's start off nicely let's start off with argus Argus, I'm going to put him in C tier. C tier is pretty much going to be like the safety zone. They're not, the hero is not too, too bad, but they're not crazy good either. I think Argus, even with his update, he's still just a C tier hero. I don't think that he's a hero that, that's just like, oh, I got to have Argus on my team now. I don't think that he's that type of hero. But next, we have Alduis. Alduis, I'm going to put him in C tier as well. I don't think that he belongs above C tier because, yeah. Basically, Alduis, his, his valuable, his, va his, his value is based off of having the time to get fed and having the time to get a bunch of stacks. No good team is going to let somebody get a bunch of stacks like that. So, any if he plays against any meta team that actually knows what they're doing, he's going to get destroyed simply because they won't let him get fed. Like, honestly, when I see him in a game, he's my focus the majority of the game simply because I know what he's capable of if he gets the chance to get fed. Um, but... I did have another hero down here. Yeah, I want to put him. Okay, Akai. I'm going to put Akai in the B tier list. He's kind of my basis around the the this. So basically, the reason that I don't think that he's A tier is because there's other heroes that I feel like bring more value than him. And I don't think that they, it would be disrespectful to put him next to some of the names I'm going to put into A tier. So I think that he brings value, but just not as much as I would expect from an A tier hero. Um, now Diggy, I want to go with him because he is an A tier hero in my opinion. He has, he can basically make his whole team immune from crowd control. He can grab a hero and basically keep them standing in one spot for an easy kill for his team. He can set up ambushes with his first ability and set a bunch of bombs there to basically get somebody like one shot second they step into some bushes. Or he can just poke at people all early game and harass. I think that he's really like a really, really good A, a um a, a um hero, A tier hero. Next, I'm gonna go with Chow. Chow is going to be another A tier hero. He's he's really good. Like he he's a hybrid hero, a very good hybrid, very strong hybrid. Um yeah, I mean Chow is Chow is pretty much Chow. You all you all know, you all know what Chow's capable of. Next we have Bruno. Bruno, okay. Bruno is gonna be actually a difficult one. Bruno is a difficult one. I don't know if I want to put him in D or C. Uh, he, I think the I think that he brings a decent amount of value, but as much value as nah, I can't do it. I can't I can't put him in the same tier with all of us. I think that he has to go into D tier, even though he's one of my favorite marksmen. I think that marksmen are just so much out of the meta right now that it's yeah it would be disrespectful to put a marksman of his caliber in the same tier list as Aldous. so yeah i think that he's gonna have to go into the d list because he's one of my favorite like i said he's one of my favorites but yeah same thing with clint honestly clint here i would have to throw him down here for the same reason he's a really he can be a really good marksman but all marksmen need a lot of time to get fed and i know that's one of the same issues with Alduis, but still, even when they get fed, they don't have the same impact as Alduis. Alduis, once he gets fed, will one-shot either one of these guys, and yeah, they, they can't do the same. Like, it's not a, like, Alduis, if he gets fed, it's almost a guaranteed win, so yeah. Next, we have, um, Esmeralda. 
Esmeralda, I'm going to have to throw her into B tier. I, I don't feel like I can put her below B tier. Um, I don't think that she's overpowered. I think that she's decent. I think that she's a decent hero. I think that when it comes to getting into A tier, anyone in A tier, anyone who plays at A tier type of level and stuff like that would know how to counter her. So I think that B, she's she can be very, very valuable. She can be very game changing, but I don't think it's just an insane amount of I used to think that she was, well, at a certain point in time, she was definitely S tier, but not, not, not right now. I think that the community has advanced to a point where, yeah, she, she's comfortable at, at B, in my opinion. Next, we're going to have Claude. Claude goes into B tier, in my opinion. Claude goes into B tier. Now, the reason that I put Claude into B tier, actually, I don't know. I'm kind of fighting between B tier and C tier. That might... Uh, yeah, it might be between like I think I think I'm gonna keep them B to be safe. But um, in my opinion, yeah, Claude is just marksmen are not in the meta right now. Marksmen, he's still he's one of the faster farming marksmen, but they take too long to get fed. Like if you have a team comp that works together and don't have a marksman, they can still easily win a game against a Claude because it puts you at a disadvantage unless you let him get fed. So um yeah, and no good team would let him get fed. Next, we have Angela. Angela is another B tier hero, in my opinion. I don't think that she's as valuable as Diggy. I don't, like comparing comparing her to the to the um, people that I would consider A heroes. I don't think that she's as valuable as Diggy. Next, we have this new hero. I can't remember his name, but I'm gonna put him at at um. I'm gonna put him at not released. I don't have enough information about him. I haven't watched enough gameplay of him in the meta. Yeah, I don't have enough info to even talk about him. So he's still a newer hero. So I don't, yeah, I'm just going to put him as not released because I, it's just, I don't have enough information to make a good decision based on him. Franco, Franco, okay. Definitely not A tier. Um, is, is he going to, actually, I would put him B tier. That's crazy. I would put him B tier. There was a point in time where I would put him like Z tier. <laughs> but yeah, I will put him I will put him B tier. I think that with his his crowd control, if you're actually landing hooks, he's game changing. He's definitely game changing with that crowd control as well. If you're landing hooks, he, he can be crazy. So yeah, if you're hitting those hooks, yeah. Insane. Alucard, definitely gotta put Alucard C tier. I think that he's a lot, he's he has some value. He could be better, but I wouldn't put him as low as these guys because he does he can get fed pretty fast. He can take on whole teams and stuff. With that crowd control, he can be pretty insane. I actually think that I would put Bane into C tier as well. We're going to start just spamming through some of these heroes. I think that Bane is a C tier type of hero also. Um, <clears throat> Change would definitely be like a C tier as well in my opinion. Same with Yodora, which is going to spam a few. Um, yeah, I don't want it to take forever. And there's a lot of Mobile Legends heroes, so without a crazy explanation for all of them, I'm just gonna keep. I'm just gonna go a little bit faster. I would think that Alice is gonna be a C tier hero as well. Um, Ballman, Ballman. Uh, honestly, I gotta put Ballman in D. I, I really do. I know a lot of people were telling me some of the things, some of the reasons they think Ballman is valuable, but he's not as valuable as. Akai in my opinion but I don't think that he's valuable enough like putting him in the same category as some of these heroes would be mad disrespectful <clears throat> like for instance I think that <clears throat> honestly Belleric is more like C tier Belleric is, is a little bit more like C tier in my opinion so but I don't know like yeah Belleric I think that Franco is a little bit more valuable than Belleric honestly yeah, I think that, yeah, C tier would probably be Belleric, and I don't think that Ballman brings the same type of ability that he does. Now, an A tier tank. We have an A tier tank. Grok is absolutely insane. He's definitely insane. He has to go into A tier. C tier, another C tier. Uh, C tier, is, is she C or is she B? Aurora? Uh, I would put her maybe C tier. Yeah, probably C tier. Because a B tier... Actually, I think Harith. Yeah, Harith, I think that he's A tier for sure. Harith is A tier. Actually, is Harith S? Nah, he's not that broken anymore. I think that he can be beat. Do we have an S tier? Let me see. Who would I put into S tier is the question. 
who would I put into S tier? Just absolutely broken. I mean, he, honestly, he's the closest thing. He's really the closest thing to an S tier. He's the closest thing to an S tier. So we're just going to throw him there. We're going to throw him there. Gazin. Gazin's definitely A. A tier. Harley A tier. This guy has been updated. I can't remember his name. He's been updated, but last that I checked, he wasn't crazy, crazy good. Like, I would normally I would put him here, but with these updates, everybody's um making it seem like he's gonna belong here. But he so he might be B or C. Um just because yeah, I'm gonna put him in, I'm gonna put him in C for now because that update hasn't been released. When it comes down to Hilda, yeah, I'm gonna throw her down here at the at D tier as well. Um, I'm gonna throw her in D tier as well. I think that there's better tanks with more value that brings more value. I think that these heroes down here, high lows, yeah, I, I'm gonna have, I gotta put them in D tier as well. Honestly, almost any marksman has to go down here in D tier. The marksmen are just really not crazy valuable right now. Uh, Kagura. Let's see, Kagura. I don't think that. I don't think that she's necessarily A tier. At the same level of Gajin and Harley, if you're good, nah. So I think she would be right below them. So I think she's definitely B. Um, A, A tier, definitely have to put um, him up there, Minotaur. Hellkurt, Hellkurt is another interesting one. Do I want to put him A tier? I think if played well, Hellkirk can be A tier. Yeah, I think Hellkirk can be A tier if played well. Hayabusa, A tier. Katak Kacha, definitely can be A tier. Um, B tier, I think Johnson, in my opinion, Johnson is B tier. I'm not a huge, huge fan of Johnson. S tier, I would argue, I would make a case for Kacha being S tier. Honestly, I would make a huge case for Kaja being S tier. I have to throw him in S tier. Um, let's see. A tier. Kufra. Definitely have to throw him in A tier. Carry is going to be in the same tier as Clyde. Where did I put him? I think the Carries, yeah. Around B. She's around B. I would put. Yeah, I would put Kadita around B as well. Kimmy? Ah, uh, Kimmy. Is Kimmy S? Is Kimmy S? Nah, I don't think Kimmy's S. Yeah, Kimmy's not S. Nah. I would put her A. A. Layla definitely gotta go down here. D <laughs> Yo, I feel bad for the marksman, man. The marksman, I gotta put him. I, I can't put him too crazy, though. I can't put him up too high. I really can't because they're just not crazy in the meta right now. In my opinion, they're just not. Um, let's see, Jawhead. Let's look at, uh, okay, Jawhead. Honestly, I feel like, let me know in the comment section if you all would want me to take my time and be take a little bit more time to make this list. Because, yeah, I, I don't want to make the video too long, but it's just like I would really have to think a long time about some of these heroes. Um, and the video would just stretch out way too long. I, I, now, I'm, I'm confused. Do I want her in B or A? No, I don't think she's necessarily A. I don't think she's A. She don't bring that type of value. But then again, Gatot, I would put her at the same level as Gatot. So, I think she could be A. Lolita could probably... No, 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 no. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't even know if Gatot should be up here now. Okay, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Those two, yeah, that is confusing. Selena, <clears throat> definitely A tier. Um, Fanny, Fanny could definitely be S tier. Fanny could be S tier if you're really good. If you're a really good Fanny, can be S tier. If, if you don't, if, like, if there's no counters in the game, stuff like that. All right, so Ruby, A tier for sure. Ruby's A tier. <clears throat> Natalia, B. Natalia is definitely going into B tier. Estes, Estes, C. I would put Estes in C. Cyclops has to go into C. 
see. Yeah, C. If I put Alice there, yeah, Cyclops definitely has to be in C. Um, this new hero, uh, I will put him probably C as well, honestly. C. Alpha, C. I'll put Alpha and C. We have a lot of C heroes. Same with Freya. Gord? Nah, Gord, I will put him. I'll put Gord probably in B. Yeah, Gord will go in B. Gord's not bad. Gord is really strong. Let's see. Guinevere? Guinevere is definitely towards the top. Let me see. <clears throat> All right, so Guinevere, I'll definitely put into... Guinevere can be overpowered, honestly. Guinevere can be overpowered, for sure. Hanzo? Hanzo? B. I'll definitely put Hanzo in B. But then I gotta rethink the seats, the seats here. I feel like if the conditions are met, I gotta move all this. Let me move all this. Yeah, all this. I feel like it's disrespectful to put him down here with them. Uh, yeah, that that looks decent. I like that better. And I honestly, let me move him up too. I'm gonna move him up. I'm gonna move Bellerick up a little bit more too. <clears throat> all right. Um, let's see. Karina. In my opinion, Karina is like. Uh, I, I'll put, I'm gonna put her in B. I'm gonna put her in B. Even though, yeah, I'm gonna put her in B. This is a new released hero. I don't know much about him. This is a marksman. <laughs> Gotta throw him there. Zask. Zask right now is. <clears throat> he's either B or A. Zask right now, I honestly might put him closer to A tier. I'm gonna put him at the top of this list. Yeah, I'm gonna put him somewhere like yeah, Zask right now is crazy. Zask, yeah, that's that's I wouldn't put him A tier. I wouldn't put him A tier though, but Zask is decent. Um A tier, I think nah nah we gonna put him here. Mincider, Mincider, he counters a lot of heroes in this list, so you have to put him in A tier. If he counters, like he counters a lot of heroes in this list. Um, <clears throat> marksman here, Marksman here, yo, the Marksman, yeah, the Marksman needs some love. Um, Jawhead, Jawhead would be. B tier. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna put Jawhead in B tier. Uh, Lancelot. It's so many heroes, my goodness, goodness gracious. Lancelot goes into, actually I'll put him A tier. If you use him well, I will put him A tier. Definitely could be A tier. Nana would definitely put her A tier right now, actually. Nana could be game changing right now. I would have to put him B tier. Mardis is B tier. B tier, same as Farsa. Odette, B tier. Roger, B tier. Raffaella. I'll put her A tier. A tier, yeah. She can still be crazy for dive comps. Sun, I couldn't put him higher than C tier. I, I can't do it. Saber, around C tier as well. This new, though, the newer fighter. Uh, he's definitely A tier. He's definitely A tier. I wouldn't put him in S necessarily. This tank. I think pretty much all the tank. This tank is decent. Yeah, I would have to put him in B tier as well. Same with him. Thomas. Thomas is A tier. Thomas is A tier for sure. Val. B tier. B tier. Vexana. I guess all the mages would be like. I don't know. Vexana could go. No, 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 no. I don't know. Yeah, the. Nah, nah, see. I don't know. I feel like some of these, yeah, she would have to be moved up. Aurora's not that bad. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think the mages. Okay, yeah, that, that, so that's how we're going to do it. Zylong, I'm going to put Zylong. Last but not least, Zylong goes... 
<laughs> you gotta go with Alucard. <laughs> so yeah, this is pretty much how I have it, man. This is gonna be my setup. This, this is the tier list in my opinion. I might look over it a little bit later and really put more time into thinking about it and like regret some of the placements. Let me know in the comment section if you would change some of the placements of some of these heroes. Cause yeah, I, I, I might look at it again and feel like I could have did a better job. So let me know in the comment section down below what you all think. Um, like I said, we got bangers coming every day now. Hopefully you all are enjoying the content. Be sure to drop that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'ma catch y'all on the next one, fam. Peace out, yo. I'm on it. Can't fail for my family. I want it. So they'll never need hope. I want it. A break just something.